Nick Solich wins his own debut beating Pittsburgh. He can run and throw, throws to the end zone, caught! Game over, game over, game over! For the first time in school history, Ohio football has won a bowl game. Steps back, fires to the left corner of the end zone, Foster out there, he caught it! Touchdown, Ohio! Athens, Ohio has always been an amazing place, but there's something to be said about what the successes of a college football program can do for a campus, town, and region. And because the Ohio Bobcats have planted their flag on the sports national landscape, well, this place is even more awesome. And one person is to thank for all of that, head coach Frank Solich. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. Frank came to town in 2005. He's embarking on his 10th season as the head coach of the program. He, his coaches, and his players, Athens brick by brick, have built this program into a winner with sky-high potential. Together, we've all reveled in the fact that the Bobcats have captured three Mid-American Conference East Division titles and the two program bowl victories. So, in advance of the start of the season, his 10th year, we posed a question to you, the best fans in the MAC, what were the best 10 game moments of his first nine seasons here? I've been fortunate to call quite a few of these. And so, in the 10 days prior to kicking it off at Kent State, we'll roll them all out, day by day, 10 to one. The results are in, here we go. Here's number 10 in our hashtag Solich 10 for 10. Number 10, November the 24th, 2006, Oxford, Ohio. Ohio 34, Miami 24. The Bobcats were 8 and 3 and 6 and 1. Miami was 2 and 9 and 2 and 5. The Cats already clinched the East Division title the week before with a 17-7 win over Akron in Athens. It was the 83rd meeting in the rivalry, and Ohio was looking to end a six-game losing streak in the series and win for the first time at Yeager Stadium since 1993. Austin Everson was hurt, so Illinois transfer Brad Bauer started at quarterback. Running back Calvin McCray was healthy, and it showed. He did exactly what he did all season and ripped off a 48-yard run near the end of the first to put Ohio up 7-3. The lead was 13-10 at halftime. The Red Hawks climbed on top 17-13 after Mike Pokel found Ryan Robinson. McCray, McRan again with 2.27 left in the third, and Ohio down 17-16. And McCray busts a tackle, and he may go the distance. Nobody's going to get him. Great second effort. Calvin McCray. He galloped 66 yards for six scored the two-point conversion, too, to put Ohio up 24-17. Kokel then ran for 36 yards and a score at the start of the fourth on a fourth and one play. Extra point good, tied at 24. On the next possession, Brad Bauer was hurt, and Josh Phoebus was in at quarterback. A big Chris Garrett run set up a one-yard score for Phoebus, and the Cats were up 31-24. Miami's next drive was cut short because Landon Cohen charged Kokel. That pressure forced a bad throw, and Jamison Hartke's first career interception. Matt Lasher turned that into three points with the 27-yard field goal. Ohio was up 10 with 8.16 left. Sacks, three of them, ended the next Red Hawk drive, and a fumble recovery put them away. Final score, Ohio 34, Miami 24. McRae had 22 carries for 180 yards and two touchdowns. It was his eighth 100-yard game of the season, and he became the second Ohio player ever to rush for 1,000 yards in back-to-back -back years. It was Ohio's first nine win or more season since 1968. It was the first time Ohio had seven MAC wins in a year. That would happen again in 2009. The 2006 win at Miami, number 10 in the Solich 10 for 10.